Alright guys, basically, in this tutorial I'm just going to actually show you how to install Backtrack to the hard drive. Now, um, in the last video we went over actually what Backtrack is, and um, how to get Backtrack up and running on a live CD. So, if you haven't done that, or if you don't know how to do that, then you would need to have watched that video in order to do this video, because right now, I've got the live CD inserted, and um, um, for the live CD inserted, and right now we've booted from the live CD, the CD and I'm at the backtrack menu. Um, this is all shown um, in the last video in regards to how to do this. It's all shown in the last video, so um, you would need to have, have to watch that video. It's on my channel, so if you haven't watched it, quickly watch it. It's only 5-10 minutes and then come back. Okay, so let's go on with this video. Let's going to start backtracking 1024 by 768. Hit enter. Now, by installing Backtrack onto your hard drive, um, basically it allows Backtrack to run faster. And obviously, you don't always have to use the live CD, which is, in itself is a big advantage. Okay, so we're just going to wait here quickly. <coughs> Another thing is that you can probably you can use store your files and you can use it as an operating system. Like you would be able to save files on there and install programs and stuff like that. And which on the live CD uh, would be possible, but it would get deleted because it's a live CD. Okay, so we're at this stage. Uh, start the GUI interface, start X. If you're asked to log in, then you already know what to do. Okay. Okay, at this step, what we want to do is we want to click the around the desktop. I soon you to um, come, you still see this sh install.sh. So you want to click that. This is the backtrack installer. Okay, and um, um, this is what we're going to be using to install Backtrack onto the hard drive. Okay, at this step, um, basically asks for your country and time zone, your location. So um, you just select your relevant location. Um, as you probably may tell, located in London or the UK. forward and after I select my time zone or my keyboard layout actually which is United Kingdom you can also check it just to make sure that all the keys are working fine Hit forward and then this is where the partitioner starts um, this is partition stage now um, if you don't know anything about partitions oh you're actually, yeah, if you don't know anything about partitions, then this stage might be a bit difficult for you. You would need to know, uh, have some knowledge of how, to, how partitions work. Um, and this is mainly for those who are actually installing Backtrack whilst you've got another operating system running. So, you've, for example, if you've got Windows 7 and you want to install Backtrack as well, this is where you would need to know about partitions in order to do that. And now, this process is called dual boot which I will take the time, I will make sure I take the time to um, actually make a tutorial on dual boot installs however if, and this is never likely the case but if for example that you're only going to install backtrack on one disk then um, just click the guided use entire disk okay then click forward what, does, what that does is it utilizes all your disk space and it creates the relevant partitions for you okay so you click forward after that Okay, and now here, 
this gives us information about the install and the options we've selected. Now I'll quickly show you one thing. As I already told you, the partitions are already created for us. If you click the guided option, partition 1 is already ext3, that's where backdrop will be installed. And partition 5 will be used as a swap. Uh, a swap is basically a partition space in which it's used by Linux in order to, um, it's used as a virtual memory. So um, normally this is done in Windows using a page file or f um, physical memory using the page file and it's a file stored on the hard disk but that track is different in that it uses a whole partition to do this and that obviously means it runs um, much faster isn't it at the same time um, utilizing this physical memory can mean your computer does run slow because you're actually using the disk you're not using your RAM inside your computer but that's a whole other topic but that's just for those who wanted to know what swap is okay so we click install Okay, and um, at this stage it will be installing Backtrack onto the hard drive. Now what I'm going to do, this might take a bit long, 5 to 10 minutes, so I'm going to pause and I'm going to come back to this video um, when it's not finished. Okay, um, I'll just start the video again because it's literally just finished right now. Okay, now we get the option saying that um, the installation is complete so do we want to carry on using the live CD? We don't we want to restart ok and as you can see the system is going down for reboot now um, so you remove your disk at this point make sure you remove your disk and then hit enter Sign up again. This time, if you notice, because the disk is removed, it actually says it's booting up from the HD0 EXT3. That's HD0 is the, um, the disk number <coughs> or the disk, and EXT3 is the partition on that disk or the, the file system, um, which is signified by the zero. But anyways, um, okay, so we know it's already installed onto the hard disk, which is great. Starting up the services. And login. Okay, now I already told you that your login is root R double O T. And the password is T W R. Okay, and then we start the GUI interface as usual. that's it, Backtrack is now officially installed on the hard drive now you can make any necess any changes that you want um, you can get used to the uh, applications on Backtrack and uh, do any system settings and things like that um, I'll carry on making Backtrack tutorials um, to discuss more probably features and things that you can do in Backtrack in future this was just one of them because people did want to know how to install Backtrack onto the hard drive or the hard disk and um, this is the video to do that um, another side note is that um, if you've got any questions um, first thing is please subscribe um, every subscription counts and um, that way you can keep up to date with the new videos that are coming out and also if you have any questions or any queries or if you're or if you're just another PC user that likes doing things on computers and um, and are int basically interested in computers then come visit the forums I'm a staff member there so I'm hanging there most of the time the forums are located at pcb0x.net I'll put the link in the description and yeah just come over there because it's a great learning place especially if you want to learn about um, computer security <laughs> And um, things like that, and yeah, I'm there most of the time. So if you have any questions, I'll be right there. Apart from that, um, thanks for watching, and yeah, subscribe to keep up for the upcoming tutorials. Thanks. Bye.